good evening friends uh, let's solve october november 2022 mcq paper component code 21 which measuring instrument is used to measure the diameter of a thin metal wire the obvious answer is micrometer screw gauge so option d a car starts from rest the table shows the readings from its speedometer every 10 second okay we have the reading so the speed is increasing 0 4 8 12 until 30 time, 30 seconds after that uh, the speed is constant 12 which road describes the car's motion in the first 30 seconds and in the last 30 seconds so by looking at the table we can answer maybe to help visualize i have plotted the graph uh the first 30 seconds until this line if we can see that uh, the speed is increasing from 0 to 30 meaning it's accelerating okay and from 30 to 60 the speed is constant so it's zero acceleration so let's go back to the question so motion during the first 30 second is non zero acceleration motion during the last 30 second is constant speed so option d is the right answer nice which property of an object is a consequence of the effect of gravitational field acting on it okay we have density mass volume and weight so we know that uh, weight is mass times gravity so weight is a consequence of effect of a gravitational field acting on the mass so weight is the right answer so we might think mass but mass on which the gravitational field acting and then the result is weight okay so answer is not mass it's weight option d the diagram shows the dimensions of a solid rectangular block of ma- metal mass m which expression is used to calculate the density of the metal so this is a straight uh, question so we know we have to find the density density is mass divided by volume and mass is m volume is multiplying all the dimensions p multiplied by q multiplied by r so m divided by p times q times r so option b a wheel barrow has a weight w of 140 newton okay which vertical force f is need to support the wheel barrow in the position shown so this is about uh, moment question so clockwise moment should equal to the anti clockwise moment so the weight w is acting in the center so it's a clockwise moment because it's downward and the force we have to give is anti clockwise moment that is up okay so the clockwise moment acting down by the distance of 0.6 meter because the total distance is 1.4 meter so force into distance so 0.6 meter into 140 newton is equal to where the upward force has to be applied 1.4 meter from the pivot or support so 1.4 meter into f up so rest is just baby math we re- rewrite the equation for f up and 60 newton is answer so option a is the right answer a car is traveling around a circular track at a constant speed as shown in which direction is the resultant force on the car so if a object is in a circular motion the force is provided by either tension in the rope if it is a circular path tied to a rope if it is a planet it's given by the gravity so any object in the circular the force and the acceleration is so the resultant force is towards the center so option b is the right answer the diagram shows part of a house used by a firefighter 
15 kg of water flows through the hose each second which force is applied to the hose by the water okay so this might look like irrelevant to a person but this is actually change in momentum question okay so we know that force is change in momentum divided by time so mv minus mu so 15 kg of water so the mass is 15 kg so it enters it, the hose with 1 meter per second that we can see in the picture and it's leaving at 6 meter per second so what's the force is 75 newton so option b is the right answer brakes are used to slow down a moving car into which form of energy is most of the kinetic energy converted as the car slows down okay so we have chemical elastic thermal and sound of course when braking sound energy also released thermal energy also released elastic um, i doubt it but chemical if it is electric car and then it's regenerative braking uh, braking small amount of uh, energy is converted into electricity so electricity stored as a chemical but most of the kinetic energy converted is in the brake pad so due to friction it will heat up so c thermal is the right answer an object has kinetic energy of 200 joule so it already has 200 joule kinetic energy a constant resultant force of 190 newton is applied in the direction of its motion through a distance of 10 meter what is the final kinetic energy of the object so it already have 200 joule kinetic energy so what's the final kinetic energy after certain force applied for certain distance that's a question so final kinetic energy is 200 joule plus the energy supplied so what is this energy supplied is force into distance so it's 190 newton into 10 meter so the final kinetic energy is 200 joule already exist plus the 1900 joule applied so the total kinetic energy is 2100 joule so option d is the right answer the statement describes what happens when the power of a machine is increased so we have to know what's the equation for power relating work done and time that's given in the four options so power is work done by time so what happened when the power of a machine is increased so power is directly proportional to work done so if work done increase power will increase inversely proportional to time so if time increase power will decrease so let's browse the options the work done is work done in a given time decreases so it's a not a right answer the work done in given time increases it's a right answer the time taken to given quantity of work decreases yes it's a right answer because time is inversely proportional to power the time taken to given to uh, to do a given quantity of work increases so time increases so it's a wrong answer so two and three are right answer option c A manometer containing water is used to measure the pressure of a gas supply as shown. The density of water is 1000 kg per meter cube. What is the pressure of the gas supply? So due to this gas supplying and this pressure, the water has increased certain height. Okay. So we know that pressure is rho g h. Rho is the density given, g is the gravity. And h what height? So it has increased. 30 centimeter so 40 minus 10 is 30 centimeter so rho is uh, 1000 kilogram per meter cube 10 meter per second square 0 0.3 meter so i have just converted we have to convert into standard si unit so the pressure is 3000 kilogram meter inverse second power minus 2 so 1 kilogram meter inverse second power minus 2 is 1 pascal so answer is 3000 pascal option c above that mass pressure uh, pressure. A, fi a fixed mass of gas is uh, trapped in a container the temperature of the gas is increased but the volume of the gas is kept constant how does this change affect the average kinetic energy of the molecules and the pressure on the walls of the container okay so the temp temperature of the gas is increasing but the volume 
has kept constant so the pressure will increase so option a b and c sorry a b and d c says pressure decrease so it's not the answer now what about the kinetic energy since the pressure increase and the temperature increase the molecules will collide more faster so their velocity average velocity will increase so the average kinetic energy will also increase so option a is the right answer they collide more frequent which row correctly describes boiling and evaporation of water so evaporation occurs only in surface so b and d are wrong answer and bubbles will be seen during boiling so bubbles seen and occurs at surface only so a is the right answer the diagram shows a liquid in glass thermometer which change increases the sensitivity of the thermometer narrow capillary tube wider capillary tube thicker glass around the bulb thinner glass around the bulb so usually we have seen that if we increase the volume of the mercury inside or increase the bulk bulk volume then the sensitivity will increase but the option is not here so either increase the bulk volume or decrease the capillary tube so option a is the right answer to increase the sensitivity The diagram shows a liquid in glass thermometer with a uniform capillary tube which temperature is indicated by the thermometer so we have they have shown 88 at 88 mm 100 degree celsius and 0 degree celsius is at 8 mm so this is actually ratio proportion question based on linear thermal expansion so if 88 meter minus 8 which is 80 mm is 100 degree celsius then how much is 1 mm so 1.25 degree celsius if 1.25 degree celsius is 1 mm then how much is 64 mm so 64 into 1.25 which is 80 degree celsius so answer is b four thermometers Four thermometers with their bulbs painted different colors are placed at equal distance from a radiant heater. Which thermometer shows the slow, slowest temperature rise when the, when the heater is first switched on? Okay, we have dull black, dull white, shiny black, and shiny white. So we will remove both black, dull and uh, shiny, because black is a good absorber and it will react quickly. So the temperature we can see increase quickly. Dull for first, shiny for second. so b and c shiny white and dull white okay so the dull white white will generally reflect but dull white will reflect less compared to the shiny white so shiny white will reflect the most of the energy so it will see the slowest increase in temperature so option d shiny white is the right answer A wave source produces 3000 crust every minute. The wave has a speed of uh, 300 meter per second. What is the wavelength of the wave? Okay, nice. So we know the velocity is frequency multiplied by wavelength. We want to know the wavelength, so I am rewriting wavelength is velocity by frequency. Now we have to find what is the frequency. So it's given 3000 crust every minute, meaning 3000 crust. or 3000 oscillations for 60 second so frequency is 3000 divided by 60 seconds which is 50 hertz so we know the frequency and we have the speed so wavelength is 300 divided by 50 which is 6 meter so option c is the right answer the diagram shows two sets of wave fronts in a ripple tank wave direction is shown so one the, there is a barrier another one there is a shallow water a student makes two statement about the waves 
when the wave reflect from the barrier the direction changes but the wavelength remains same so when this is reflecting okay so the direction change but the wavelength remains same in the reflection so one is right when the wave refract as they enter in the shallow water enter the shallow water the direction remains the same but the wavelength changes no the direction changes so it's wrong so statement 1 only is the right answer so option b is the right answer a composite block is made by joining together three transparent materials the diagram shows a ray of light passing through the composite block material 1 material 2 and material 3 we have which list gives the three material in order of the speeds of the light in material from the slowest to the fastest so we know that uh, refractive index is the ratio of speed in the vacuum or air to the speed in the material also refractive index is sin i by sin r why we are involving sin i by sin r because this the only clue we have here is the re- angle of refraction so sin r is sin i by n so the highest refraction angle the lowest n meaning the fastest light traveling okay let's see so the angle of reflection sorry angle of refraction is higher in 3 and uh, material 1 sorry material 3 second is material 1 third is material 2 so slowest to fastest slowest one is second then 1 and then 3 so option c is the right answer so the light travels slow in material 2 little fast in material 1 faster in material 3 an object is placed 30 cm in front of the plane mirror which statement describes the image of the object so the image is smaller so c and d are wrong answer because in the plane mirror you will see the same size image as an object so image is same size 30 cm from the object initially it will look like right answer but actually if this is a mirror and this is a image sorry this is the object you will see the image in exact opposite direction if you are 30 cm from the mirror the image will be seen 30 cm inside the mirror so total distance is 60 cm so option b is the right answer the image is same size and 60 cm from the object the distance between object and the image is 60 cm not the mirror and the image or mirror and the object so option b is the right answer a ray of light is shown uh, into the surface of a mirror which two angles represent the angle of incidence and the angle of reflection so very straight forward question so this is angle of incidence and this is angle of ref- uh, reflection so 2 and 3 option c is the right answer the speed of sound in air is 330 meter per second how do the speed of the sound in concrete and water compare with the speed so this this are the few type of question where cambridge need need us to remember some details one such is speed of sound in different materials so i have shown the table or column here so in the air it's the slowest because air molecules are not packed together tightly faster in water Uh, fa- little faster in water more faster in concrete faster in steel the tighter the material packed the faster the sound will be so speed in concrete greater speed in water is also greater compared to air so a is the right answer everything else has a less in it so what is the speed of microwaves in air microwave is electromagnetic wave and all electromagnetic wave travels 3 into 10 power 8 meter per second so option c is the right answer nice question an observer stands an observer stands at the finish line of a 100 meter race he wants to time the winner's run he starts his stopwatch as soon as he sees the smoke from the starting gun instead of when he hears the bang what is the reason for doing this so this is a technical question like 
you have a light and a sound starting from a same point which will reach you first obviously light is light travels faster than the speed so that's the right answer so option a is the right answer light travels much faster than the sound which statement is not a method for magnetizing an iron bar so place the bar next to a magnet and hammer the bar so this will uh, th this will actually align the domain so this is a way of magnetizing the bar so not option a let's look at option c place the bar in inside a solenoid switch on a direct current in the coil and gradually reduce the current this will also magnetize the material stroke the bar repeatedly with the magnet this will also supply energy so this energy will be used to align the domain so this will also magnet so let's look at b place the bar inside a solenoid switch on an alternating current in the coil and gradually reduce the current so this is not a method because alternative current changes the side so this will not magnetize the material so option b is the wrong way of magnetizing an iron bar it will not actually magnetize the iron bar so b is the right answer the diagram shows a circuit containing a variable resistor connected to a variable power supply the table shows the current for different values of the potential difference and the resistance what is the order of the currents from smallest to largest so resistance is given voltage is given we have to find the current we know v equal to i times r so i will be v by r so we will calculate all the current so the current from smallest to largest largest so i2 is the smallest i1 is next um, largest i3 is the largest one so i2 i1 i3 option c is the right answer which diagram shows the electric field pattern around a positive charge so positive charge actually the field lines are going outward so option a is the right answer option c and d are circular so they are not option b if it is a negative charge this is a image so option a is the right answer positive goes outside radially a negatively charged plastic rod p is placed above a positively charged plastic rod q what are the direction of the electrostatic forces on rod p and on the rod q so they will attract so the forces will look like this so actually it will be parallel lines so i just show different for different uh, force so electrostatic force on rod p is downwards that's a red arrow electrostatic force on rod q is upwards that's a green arrow so option b is the right answer a lamp rated 12 volt 2 ampere is switched on for 1 minute how much energy is transferred by the lamp so we know that uh, energy is current into time into voltage so 2 ampere into 1 minute that has to be converted for 60 second and 12 volt so 1440 joule so option d is the right answer if you don't convert that 1 minute and put it in the same formula we will get 24 joule d that is wrong answer an alternating current ac power supply is connected to connected in series with a resistor r and a diode which graph shows how the voltage v across the resistor r varies with time so if there is no diode then we will see the graph a but there is a diode and it's a single diode so it will only eliminate the negative part so option c is the right answer so option b if it is a full wave rectifier if there are four diodes we will get this result so option b is also a student makes four resistors using different piece of wire the wires have different diameters and length 
all pieces of the wire are made from the same material. Which pieces of wire will make the resistor with largest resistance? So we have to compare the diameter and length. We know the resistance is rho L divided by U. Rho is the resistivity of a material. It's, since all the wires are made with the same material, the resistivity is constant, rho is constant. So R is proportional to L directly, R is proportional to area inversely. So if L has to increase, A has to decrease. So the highest length is 17, the lowest diameter is 0 0.8. So option B is the right answer. Which diagram shows a circuit containing a battery, fuse and a buzzer? So fuse symbol is B and D. So A and C are wrong answer. Buzzer symbol D is the right answer. Buzzer is downwards. The diagram shows a network of logic gates. Which single logic gate placed X and Y and how? Would have the same effect as the network. Okay, let's place the truth table. So 001, 01 and 1, 101, 11 is 0. So this is simply a NAND gate. So option D is the right answer. D is a symbol for NAND gate. The diagram represents a transformer, core and primary coils are shown. Which row, which row shows the material suitable for making the core and the primary coil? So the core has to be made by ion. So it's an educated case. So C and D is wrong. And the primary coil has to be copper for nice conductivity. So ion and copper. Option A is the right answer. The diagram shows the magnetic field lines around the wire carrying current I. Which diagrams are correct? Okay, current flowing in different directions, how the current will flow. So we can use the thumbs rule or screw rule. So the green arrow is the direction of rotation and I, uh, red arrow will be the flow of current. So 1 and 3 are the right answer. So option D. Which statement about electromagnetic induction is correct? Okay, let's look at from uh, D. The induced electromagnetic force decreases when the speed of conductor moving across the field line increases. No. If the speed increases, the electromagnetic force, the electromotive force will also increase. So D is wrong. Induced current is in direction parallel to the direction of motion producing. No, this is also wrong. Uh, let's look at option A. A conductor moving parallel to magnetic field lines induces an electromagnetic force in the conductor. No. So it has to move perpendicular. Then only it will cut the field lines. So option A is also wrong. So B is the right answer. The direction of the induced electromagnetic force opposes the change which produces it. So this is a fundamental. B is the right answer. A very important experiment increased scientists understanding of the structure of matter. In the, in the experiment, particles scattered as they pass through a thin metal foil. Which particles were used and which to which conclusion did the experiment read, lead? So it's simply the alpha scattering uh, experiment. So alpha particles and atoms have a very small nucleus. So this was the conclusion. So option B is the right answer. They use small alpha particle for a thin gold material to scatter. Polonium PO has a proton number equal to 84 and a nucleon number equal to 218. A polonium changes into astrine by emitting a beta particle. Which equation represents this decay? We simply have to write the equation. Okay. So option C is the right answer. So increase in proton number by 1. 80 and no change in nuclear number. The graph shows how the count rate from a radioactive isotope changes with time. Okay, 
what is the half life of this isotope so half life we have to count let's take the measurement 50 the time is 0 0.2 second and uh, let's take the half of the 50 25 we'll see the time is 2 seconds so the half life is 2 second minus 0 0.2 second which is 1.8 second it took 1.8 second to decrease from 50 to 25 that's one half life so option a is the right answer close to 1.8 second actually if you find uh, three values and make average it will be closer value what is the nature of alpha emission so alpha emission is not electromagnetic wave gamma emission is electromagnetic wave uncharged particle no so alpha is positively charged particle so option c is the right answer Uh, done 21st century education 21ce.in thank you